Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Disguiver. Dysfunctional? Dysmorpheus. Fuck you, dysfunctional. Dysfunctional world. <laughs> Yo soy Cedric. <laughs> Hablamos. <laughs> Screaming, let's talk. So, Hablamos. let's talk. What are we talking about tonight? Tonight we're talking about marriage, not for love, but because it's a business. Mm. I'm a business, man. I handle business. Damn. Mm, mm, so, mm. to start off, this is not a disclaimer or a warning. This is just free advice. If you are getting married for the sole purpose of love and companionship, you're getting married for the wrong reasons. Especially nowadays. Um, nowadays, people do it. They in it for the money. They in it for the bag. Will they fall in love? They probably will eventually, I guess, but love that, that's come bad later. Right yes. when love comes later. Um, they in it for the money. and Or the benefit. Or, or, or right, just whatever they can get out of it. Like you said, so benefits would be a better word than money because it might be the form of a car, you know, companionship, companion, like whatever they can get attention, male attention, easier, easier uh, on the bills, right? So lighten up the load, the benefits of it, like the you benefits. said, yeah. And a lot of times, it's unfair for the man. I'm not trying to um, mm -hmm. take one side or, or, or the other, but a lot of times, meaning divorce. I think man, it's unfair for whoever has the most money. Mm. Yeah, I would say that, but... I'm not going to just say a man, because if she got more money than him, mm -hmm. and things ain't working out properly, mm -hmm. um, when he divorces her, nine out of ten times, if they didn't sign a prenup, he gets half. I right. think that half should need to go away. I agree. Unless um, you help me build that half. But the only thing with that is, it's a few things. One, most, most uh, wealthy women or rich women... Just about 99% of them require a prenup, right? Most of them. If, because if they marry down. Right. If they marry down. Right, right. Most of them are going to require a prenup. So he'll get something, but it won't be as much as she would have got had he been the one with the money. You know what I'm saying? But a prenup but, will still stop that too. Oh, after, oh no. A prenup, prenup, excuse me, stops a lot. Yes. A lot. But you still can get something. Um, you can get alimony. You know, but... But also, do you know that a lot of men, a lot of men, well, actually men nowadays, yes, they file for all they can get the same way the women do. <laughs> Traditionally, I got to say that, though, historically, most men, when they get divorced, don't get anything. Pretty much. Don't right. try to get they, anything. They get the raw deal. They, well, and, yeah, and, and most just, men just want out of it. They just want their freedom. Right. That, that's it. They just want their freedom. And my dog. Get my dog. You can't have my dog. Then they realize, <laughs> and then they realize that the dating market out here sucks. Sucks. That's what a lot of once again, I hate to say this, successful women are finding out in the current modern 2023 dating market that their options are shit. It's trashed out here on both sides. And I say both sides because women are dating women and women are dating men. So both sides men of, dating of their men choice. Too. It's, it's still trash. Oh, absolutely. But I was just you know, speaking right, of right. successful women. Right. It's trash. And this is what you hear. So it's really more effective or conducive for you to stay with your partner. Especially if you've been with them, you know. Because you got to think about it. Five plus years. So, I mean, this, this, is, this is a typical gripe that I hear about with new relationships. Okay. You got to get to know them all over again. All over, yep. You got to open up again. Mm-hmm. You got to trust them again. You got to learn to trust someone all over. Mm-hmm. Um, the topic of sex flows too easy nowadays. Oh, absolutely. So, so it comes out too quickly or too aggressively. Um, most people can't hold conversations anymore. Everybody's a digital this, a digital that. Yes. They want some kind of attention, want to become a, a, a superstar or a celebrity overnight with the mm -hmm. blue checks and this and that. So a lot of people aren't living life for the enjoyment of a companion. They're living life for the enjoyment to become famous, mm -hmm. attention, mm -hmm. or whatever it is they're seeking at that moment. I agree. Validation. I agree. 
I agree. Yep. Because a lot of people, um, well, you know what? I'm going to spin it back to the business deal part, right? Okay. So with everything that you were just saying, right? How would you word that as a, in, if it was in a contract? So would you be like, hey, listen, this is the deal. You know what I'm saying? Literally the deal. All right, okay. Um, you have to, you know, and, and like all, all right. the stuff you've just said. All right. And so, this is what you get. So, so if I had to write up a contract mm -hmm. for a new relation, a marriage right now, I would say, look, you get exclusivity. You get monogamy. You might get love. Mm -hmm. You get companionship, conversation, back rubs, and incentives. You get gifts, um, appreciation days. You get uh, trips and gets getaways, um, and you possibly, possibly could get an offspring. And what do they have to give up for that? Okay, Since this is the deal, all right, a contract. All right, all right. What do you? So, what do you want? <laughs> so you have to give up tension seeking. Uh, I'm monogam mono uh, planning field. Mm -hmm. Got to mm -hmm. give up planning field. Okay. You you might have to give up your social media, depending on what you're doing on your social media. Um. And you got to be here and not with the with the with the what's going on around the world type thing. Like you, it's it's cool to be in tune with what's going on around the world, but you got to be present here with mm -hmm. me. Um, I need motivation and encouragement three to five days out the week. Um, if you go hard for me, I'll go harder for you. Mm. Okay. Okay. That's fair, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I would say if I had to write up a contract, right? Write up a contract. Uh, something crazy because wifey, wifey, uh, <laughs> go get some shit amended on your ass. Right. Well, see, good thing we've been married a long time, and our <laughs> our deals fall on the you know what I'm talking about the old contract. You know what I'm talking about? We grandfathered in the old one. <laughs> but if I just had to write up one for new folks who okay. get married, right? This, right, this is what folks. I would say. All right, ladies, you're going to get attention. What? You're going to get male attention. You're going to get gifts. You're going to get trips. You're going to get uh, uh, spoiled. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get uh, put on the pedestal. You'll have someone who's going to protect you, more than likely put their lives on the line at most times if you're ever in that sort of danger. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, okay. Now, that's seven things right there. Now, stop that seven because seven's a lucky number. Seven Fellas, a lucky number. you're going to get... A diminished return on your ROI. You know what I'm talking wow, about? Wow. Sex is gonna go down. Wow. You still get it. It'll be actually be better. You know what I'm talking about? You, you won't do this off there. Right. right. This is what the fellas get. Um, you'll get a lot of responsibilities, which you'll love, because this is what men like. We we want to take care of our families. Um, you get a a a, a honey do list. A honey do list? Yeah, honey, please do this for me. Honey, uh, do that for me. Honey, do okay, this for me. Okay, okay. A honey do list. You a know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. I like that. Stuff like that. And that's like it. That. You know what I'm talking about? The end. Extracurricular activities. Extracurricular activities, yeah. I got you. And that's for the new that's for the new folks. I ain't talking about like people our age. Right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Okay, okay. Because we like I said, I would say it would be grandfathered in, but for the new Hey, but you know, I want to switch that up. That wasn't even for the new age. That was for the generation after us. Got after you. us. Got this you. new generation, you getting hookup culture, Netflix and chill. You know what I'm talking about? Disloyalty, and you're going to get him playing the game and, and trapping. Because all these young dudes be trapping now. All of them. Big, small, that, that is, that is making new, a little is, money, a lot. That is, that is the new occupation. Yeah. It's like high school, trap, or go to college. When did that become a big option? When did that become an option? But that's what they all do. So that's what the ladies are getting now. A dude who hustle and get, because all of them get to the bag. They all get to the bag. I give them that. But they yeah. still immature as far as life goes. So that's the contract for personality. Mm -hmm. uh, they lack conversation. They lack uh, emotional uh, maturity. Um, they're insecure. 
Certain things they it's not that they can't deal with. No. Certain things they can't deal with. It's not that they won't negotiate and tell you why they won't deal with it or a deal breaker. They'll just tell you that they can't deal with it, period. So you you have a lot of uh yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to call them. I don't even know what to call them. But, but this is why marriage as a business suits people better than marriage as a love thing. Because mm -hmm. people, believe it or not, Michelle Obama said it, 10 years of her life that she was married to the president, she didn't love him. She didn't like him. She was upset with him. So I said that to say that if they can go as far as they went and they're, they're happy now, um, um, I said I had to say this, that if you go into a marriage strictly for love, you or them can fall out of love with one another. But if you go into marriage as a business convenience and let love be secondary or third, you can always fall back in love. Yeah, and other races have been doing this for years. Because yeah. arranged marriages don't start off with love. And they work. Other races have been doing this for years, y'all. A lot of races believe in, you know, man leading, women following. Maybe not servant, but for some reason, American women feel like subservient is a, is a slave. And right. no man wants you to be their slave. Right. Nope. Immature no. dudes want you to be their slave, but they're not offering marriage. Right. They offering a good time right now that's with it. some money. Yep. Anywho, mm. that's the marriage talk for y'all. Uh, I'm your host, Dislingual. No, dysfunctional. Dysfunctional's world. I'm your boy Sid, aka Mr. Let's Talk. We out of time till the next time. Screaming, let's talk. Peace.